All right, here we go. We are going to be reacting to Logan Paul's response to Kavuzilla. Let's let's see what he has to say for himself, all right? Maybe maybe this will turn the entire story around. Maybe Kavuzilla got it completely wrong. Let's let's get into it. Watched your three-part series called Investigating Logan Paul's Biggest Scam. And like many on this platform, you have successfully used my name for views and money. Immediately, that is, that is the worst way to start off a video addressing scam allegations. You start going after CoffeeZilla and saying that he's merely using you for views and money. Worst, worst way to start the video. While your work used to be impartial, your addiction to clicks has clouded your judgment and you've made very- Of course. Of course, Logan Paul is playing the, you used to make good videos, you used to be a good journalist, but now, now that you've gone after me, now you're bad. Now, now obviously you've lost your integrity. Real errors with very real repercussions. Coffee, you took a shot. Let's see, let's see, let's see what the errors he's made. May, 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 maybe Logan is right here, all right? May, may, maybe Coffeezilla has completely screwed up here. At my reputation. Uh, so in this video today, I'm going to be defending myself with facts, something that you have gotten in the habit of. Why defend yourself in the first place? W why take this angle? Because honestly, no one cares. People lost money. Your fans lost money. People who believed in you lost money. I lost around 50,000. What about these guys who lost hundreds of thousands of dollars? What about your fans, Logan? These are the people that you should be helping. Not yourself. Twisting as you continue to morph from an investigator to a gossip channel. You see, CoffeeZilla tried to work with law enforcement in the past, but his work was described as not anchored to truth and often speculative. He is a lopsided journalist with an agenda, and he's nothing more than the Keemstar of crypto and finance. Coffee's only agenda is to call out these scams. These scams that you have been a part of on numerous occasions. Speaking of, uh... Hold on, hold on, hold on. But the, but the little, the little dink doink is right there, little dink doink logo. That, that, that's, that's one of your first scams that you ran. What, what happened with that, Logan? By the way, the reason that Logan has like such a huge problem with like Keemstar is because Keemstar calls him and his brother out on their bullshit. Caught in CoffeeZilla's investigation. Coffee, you interviewed the developer who stole the game code, fled to Switzerland, and held it hostage for a million dollars. Well, his name is Zach Kelling. Surely, as the internet detective that you proclaim to be, you would know that he spent time in prison for multiple felonies, one for aggravated robbery, armed robbery at a liquor store, and- Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So like you're giving Coffeezilla shit for like interviewing this guy, right? For for getting a statement from this guy. But you work with him. Like like this was the main developer, the main guy on your NFT project. But Coffeezilla's in the wrong for like interviewing this guy. I'm pretty sure in the in the three part series, it's been a while since I've like watched everything. He does call that guy out as well and and exposes him for for stuff that he's done as well. Not just you. He he exposes like everyone involved and like everyone involved with this from from the top down. You're all scumbags, every single one of you. Every single one of you d deserves shit for this. The other for surprise, obstructing the legal process. I can see why you kept him anonymous. Wow. Who will be Such a surprise. He's here. a scumbag. Guess, among many things, it doesn't surprise me that he lied about having 30 engineers and a $50,000 a week burn rate. On my end, I have 30 $50, Which side note is how this delusionist landed on the million dollar code ransom, but it turns out he only had three engineers. Wouldn't someone with journalistic integrity know their credible source had not only- Wouldn't someone with any shred of integrity whatsoever not hire this guy in the first place? An agenda, but a fondness for orange jumpsuits. Or did you just hear what you wanted to hear and moved on? Because even if you're lying to yourself, Steven, you still have to believe it. And I know what you're thinking. What type of idiot would work with an unsafe Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is exactly what I'm thinking, Logan. Who likes that Kelling? I guess that's what I get for trusting the team that I relied on to vet and manage Eddie's hiring process, who has turned out to be a professional con man that I have since learned fooled billionaires, the Mormon church, the owner of the New York Yankees, and now me. And yeah, you fucked up. Now take accountability. You fucked up. You screwed over your fans. Pay them back. That's it. That's that's all you gotta do. Surely you knew Emilio, the gentleman who supposedly let his child invest in a cryptocurrency, was allegedly responsible for two rug pulls before you interviewed him. So either you missed that or you knew it and failed to let the public know. Why? Because it was a clear sign that he was also untrustworthy. You seemed pretty excited when the guy told you that he couldn't hatch the eggs. Wait, you can't even hatch? No, I'm telling you, it's just a picture. You're kidding, you can't hatch? You're kidding, you can't. Okay, okay, so like, yeah, 
everyone involved here is here's like a scumbag right the the people that copyzilla is some of the people that he's interviewing are also scumbags who've done shady shit because they're all involved in the, in this crypto bullshit it's 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 all scams from like the top down anyone involved with this shit they're they're, they're all fucking scammers like every single one of them hatch you can't hatch uh yeah one second of research would prove that to be false as you can definitely hatch eggs and even breed your animals click on that oh we got a duck and as you pointed out in your fine print cross hatching was available on eth at one point but you perpetuated the opposite as truth with your chest out basically nothing worked and by the way guy almost all nfts are just pictures i mean i guess this is kind of a valid Point. I guess Kavizilla said that like the 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 egg NFT thing didn't work or whatever, but like you you just got a picture. Like, wasn't this supposed to be a game? Like, is it that that the point of of your project that like, it was a game? But the game has never been developed. So like, sure, you can hatch the NFT, and maybe Kavizilla got that detail wrong. But where's the game, Logan? It's been a year. There is no game. So if there is no game, then this project has no value, and that's why so many people got screwed here. So it's just a picture. And surely a real internet detective would not break criminal and civil laws in trying to get information, right? So why have you allowed the illegal recording of Jeff's phone call without his permission? Oh no, he's More like an internet. He's going to do this. Posted. He's going to do this. This is such a horrible point. Like anytime someone gets exposed for this shit, they always do the but you recorded me without consent. I don't care. Like honestly, that that doesn't matter. <laughs> You're a scumbag. Like, who cares? Anyway, it doesn't matter because Kavizilla, uh, he he lives in Texas, right? And in Texas, it's it's a one-party consent state. So if one person consents to a conversation being recorded, it's legal. It's interesting. It was like this is wild. Like Logan is he's he's just mad that that Kavizilla called him out on his bullshit. He's just mad that his manager Jeff makes him look bad. Now, although you didn't verify any backgrounds, substantiate any evidence, took multiple criminals' words as truth, and broke laws, you still published the defamation. However, unlike you, the defamation that's a serious claim, Logan. Blockchain doesn't lie. So let's highlight some things that you did. Lie? Oh, so he's he's claiming that Coffeezilla is lying here. Let's let's see what evidence does he have. Like maybe maybe Coffeezilla is a liar. Who knows? Crypto King Jake stole six million dollars. True or not, we had already removed him from the team when we realized he was a bad actor and his motives were purely financial. Conman Eddie, lead developer, stole one point seven. I like how he's giving all these guys nicknames, like he's Donald Trump. Well, he was immediately removed. Where's Sleepy well, Joe? Himself, you got a Sleepy Joe? Sold nothing and made nothing as verified through investigation. And and the blockchain. Jeff, Logan's manager, to my knowledge, never sold. Neither did Logan Paul. I repeat, Jeff and I. Okay, I mean, that was from Coffeezilla's own video. Like he said, you didn't sell. So like, what more do you want? And I'll, I'll give it to Logan and I'll give it to his manager. They didn't sell, right? That That's like the bare minimum that, that you can do. At least they didn't sell. Made no money and will never make any money on CryptoZoo. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you lost money. You didn't make money, but your fans lost money. You are a multi-millionaire, Logan. You have more money than than most people will ever see in a hundred lifetimes. But your fans, the people who trusted you, they lost out. They are screwed because of this, and you need to pay them back. Lost money trying to pick up the pieces. As has been the case with dozens of crypto and NFT projects, the space is unfortunately ripe for bad actors to infiltrate projects that start with even the best intentions. Jake the Snake is no longer affiliated with Crypto Zoo, and we hope the money he reappropriated was worth. Best of intentions. Th there is no good intentions with crypto NFTs stuff like the, the the intention is to purely make money that's it like what good intentions could you possibly have here making a game like even if this game were fully functional it would have been garbage just like the the those shitty like little, little monkey nft shows that th those guys made like you think that that is worth the like hundreds of thousands of dollars people are paying for these stupid monkeys like no it's 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 not good it's a pyramid scheme that's that's what it is the intention was to make money. Ruining his reputation. Con man Eddie is being investigated by a higher authority that I cannot speak Also, to. this shit's on you too. Work. This shit's on you. Like, all the people you hired for this were all complete scumbags. Like, you, you, you have a responsibility to make sure the people that you're hiring to make your project 
are not complete scumbags. From legal to discuss much of this, including the legal process being undertaken and the criminal investigations going on during the fallout, but I do appreciate you calling out that rats under my nose stole the game code, millions of dollars, and left Jeff and I abandoned with no team and knives in our back. But even after 12 months of work, you've still managed to overlook one crucial piece of information. What was it? What is it? Even though I've said it's is this a proof he's innocent? Times, you've assumed that CryptoZoo isn't being made. Oh, no, Logan. No. What is actually wrong with you? No, no, kill it. Kill it. No, just just kill it. No, no one cares at this point. Like, no, no one wants this. It's dead. It's gone. Let it die. Pay your fans back. That's it. That's literally all you got to do to decide when the development timeline ends. I got everything stolen. It's been over a year and, and there's been nothing. Like, like, what do you mean? You've been inactive completely throughout this entire time. What are people led to believe here? And for me and our community, stop promoting publicly as soon as I knew the extent of the internal issues, took all of the heat on social, and you still published a defamatory hit piece, fully knowing I was innocent, just so you could enrich yourself in your $10 million studio. Sharp, but deeply unethical, dangerously misleading, and illegal. You know what's unethical? Making an NFT project that scams your fans. <laughs> That's unethical. I suggest you use the money you got from pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. And maybe we could have talked. There it is. There it is. Jesus. He's he's going full legal route. He's he's actually he's actually threatening Kavizilla. I don't know I don't know what grounds you have to like sue, but you're not gonna win in court. There's no possible way that you're gonna win in court. There just isn't, because Kavizilla has done nothing illegal here. Except maybe the the recording thing, which is kind of like debatable. It's it's kind of in a gray area, but that is not comparable to your actions. Like, if anyone's getting sued here, Logan, it's you. If you had reached out to me, personally, not my manager, Jeff, who is not me, me, Steven, but the first time you... What? Okay, most people, right, how, how you reach out to, to someone, is you reach out to their manager. Like, that's kind of the point. Oftentimes, managers are used as a buffer. How does that not count as reaching out to you? ...did was on Christmas Eve after you released your series so you could rely on false statements and unreliable people used recklessly. He's tried to reach out to you numerous occasions. On numerous yeah. occasions. This will be my third time reaching out to you and your team. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. The first two times were through your manager, Jeff. Okay, so the last time on Christmas Eve, after the fact, was to me, you have a funny way of twisting things. And I also noticed you left out that part on Twitter. Why hide that? Trust me, CryptoZoo is coming. I will make damn sure of it. And honestly, it f sucks that after years of personal reform, going through trials and tribulations and busting my ass to evolve into a person that I can say I'm actually proud of, you led the charge to drive and monetize a narrative telling millions of people that I'm a fraud or I tried to scam my audience. That is pat- what about all the other NFT projects? Are you, are you gonna address those now? Dink doink? What's, what happened to Dink doink, Logan? Wait, where is your statement on that? Only false. This video is mainly for my fans and anyone who's on the fence that I hope I can help understand a situation that is tremendously complex, but has been- Yeah, this just proves to me even more complex. that you're, lastly, you're a scumbag. Zilla, I now know your motives with this. Clout and money. Good Clout and money. Clout and money. Clout and money. Yeah, that that was your motives when you went into the suicide forest. You're, you're slimy as so I'm not going to come on any of your podcasts. If you want to come on Impulsive and talk about this, that's fine. You've denied my invitation multiple times. You're still invited. You've if denied you his, mul his, his invitation multiple, to multiple times, too. I'll continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. Oh, man. CryptoZoo. Coming 2023 or 2024. Holy shit. Holy shit. People are gonna have to wait like another two years for this shit. Bruh, it's dead, Logan. Just let it go. Just let it die. That, that was actually awful. Like, holy shit. That is like the worst possible way that you could respond to something like this. Like literally, just pay back your fans. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Apologize, say sorry, I, I screwed up. That's it, like literally, that is it. He could have had such an easy W, right? But. No, he, he went the de defensive route. The offensive route, actually. He decided to attack Kavizilla and his credibility. Anyway, yeah, that that was Logan Paul's video. That's my reaction to Logan Paul's video. 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I don't normally do reactions because I, I think I'm kind of bad at reactions, okay? But I, I tried. I tried with this, right? Let me know. Let me know if it was good. Smash like and subscribe. Screw you, Logan Paul.